What's good, YouTube? I'm here, the one, the only, Ant-Man 816 here, because, yet again, I am the president of the Panda Man fan club. He did what? As the title said, he got 11th at the Omaha, Nebraska Regional with, is, is that a rescue ace? Like, I see a ghost bell, I see a baron, but is that a CR rescue ace hydrant? Hot Damn, you spared no expense getting this together, did you, Big Phil? <laughs> Woo! Now we're going to get into listen. Let me tell, or not let me, let this man tell you about his term experience with this deck that's going to be the next meta of tomorrow. So tell him what you did, Big Dog. All right, so I decided to play Rescue Ace. Uh, it actually came from the man himself, Akeem. He actually showed me the deck and made me decide to play this. He showed you the way. He did. He did. So just... Deck's really strong. I did not know there was new support when I decided to try to play this, and then I found out afterwards. Um, so I actually seen it getting new support. Um, it's going to be really good, but it's still good now. It's a really a sleeper deck. A lot of people don't pay attention to it, but get into the deck. Main engine of the deck. Rescue Ace Hydrant. Got three of these bad boys in CR. But um, yeah, essentially it searches any of them at any of the monsters out of your deck once per turn it's not on summon effect um also if you have another one it can't be targeted by card effects or by battle so it's really hard to get around this and it gives additional effects to the spells and traps if it's on the field um probably should have played two but i bumped it down to one one because i only had one cr um and I was trying to make space in the deck. It's only had one cr i was like ah, i'm gonna bump it down i have a second one coming in the mail shout out to my man oscar um, honestly, this is probably the, the, the runner of the deck, like the big boss monster. Um, banish two from your graveyard to special summon it. It can still be normal summoner set as well, especially summoned by any of their monsters, which they all kind of do that. But he literally sets for their spell and trap cards. Oh yeah, we, 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 we'll talk about it later. Can't we had shit. an intense yeah, you match gotta, and that card was a Yeah, pain. you gotta, if you can't stop this, um with their spells and traps which literally pretty much handle anything um and it wanted the new one that just came out protects him so you're not unless you can essentially get over a five thousand unaffected by monster effects can't be destroyed by battle the first turn it would be destroyed um monster yeah good luck oh so that's a fire fire pearly and it comes from the per okay okay i see it i see it yeah all right and then their hand trap so both um, all of the monsters are actually hand traps. Um, they're, they contribute themselves from the field or the hand. He's the best one because he special summons one from the deck. Okay. So you can grab any of them. Um, and I kind of go into what the other ones do. But this is a really good starter. Like, I can play on your turn and end up summoning three monsters because you summon one that if you summon, I get to summon. And then one is going to say that I get to draw two cards, discard one if you add a card from your deck to your hand. You know, so on your turn, I get to summon a bunch and facilitate, get more cards to my hand, possibly more hand traps. Man. Um, this one, he is a chain blocker because one is one is normal or special. He special summons himself. Um, and then if your opponent's normal or special summons a monster, you can special summon a level four lower rescue race monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Okay. Um, really good chain blocks, all of them that have on summon effects um, when you summon them. Um, this is pro you only run one of this, but it's really good in the sense that if your opponent adds a card from their deck to their, I'm sorry, not deck, if your opponent adds a card to their hand, you draw two discard one. I found it out while I was playing, even if they add a card from their graveyard to your hand, I Jesus. draw two discard one. So, uh, most people did not want me to do that and they would stop and think really hard because they did not want me to plus, um... Another starter of the deck, um, just like all the level four, the level four ones are warriors, the level five and higher machines, um, since they're a bunch of firefighters with their Quentin. machines to put out fires. Um, he can special summon one from the hand. Um, if your opponent activates a monster effect, all the little ones, they tribute themselves from field or hand, special summon from somewhere. The first one I showed you is deck. He does from hand. The other one I'm not running does from graveyard. Um, I know you'll run him once the new stuff comes out. And, we gonna have that deck profile yeah. when that happens. Well, on summon, he adds one of those spells from deck to hand. The other guy that I'm not running adds a trap. Um, the spell is probably one of the other really broken cards in the deck. Their field spell, which I get into when I get it. But I have used his effect to special summon from hand before. If I get something that's stuck and he's on the field, 
Um, you can special summon the big the big guy from your hand. Okay. So, so it's being not a able good draw. to no. So being able to special summon him during your opponent's turn zero and already having him on the field, getting a lot of monsters on the field turn zero is pretty good. Oh, hell yeah! When your opponent can't attack. Um, right. Gizmek. This guy contributed himself to a special summon a monster. You tribute a machine, and then you special summon a. Um, a monster, monster with, with a level lower that has that equals attack and defense. You're essentially tributing this guy to go get Fire Hydrant. Okay. Rescue Ace Fire Hydrant. Um, and it works really good with Gamma because it's like a um, because it, since it takes itself off the field for cost, your field's open. If they ash it, you can Gamma. And then getting into the hand traps, three ash. Ooh, okay. I see you, big fella. The Gamma package. Um, chose Mourner over effect rather due to the fact of Mourner's double effect. Um, I did burn people a lot with this card. Um, and the fact that I can do it during the draw phase and standby phase, even on my turn, unlike effect feather. But a lot of people like to do things, especially, um, who is it? I want to say Bistu, but it's not Despia. There we go. The Despia players like to play during their draw phase to try to play around Droll and stuff. I can at least hit their monsters when they summon them. And not only that, though, but also just saying that uh, this is a game to where having a viable strategy for going into time in the main deck is always nice. Right. And then I ran one core car and one Dogoran. Um, I need more of these. At the end of the day, I, I really do need to run two or three of these because this this card has gotten me over so much like they activate their entire field or you force out them to activate their field and then you just tribute over everything um it's really good and then just having this like i just don't want to lose game one to pearly and just to have out and even a super heavy samurai uh would it also be for uh cash tier because as the filming of this there's not been a forbidden limited list release so so they i don't i can banish stuff so the thing they put up doesn't really bother me gotcha i just wanted just no. in case for the profile i just wanted to i mean no i mean you can but that's not the deck that i was really worried about the issue with cash tier is never to me been a rise heart it's rebirth. It's the fact that they can outgrind me. That every turn they can make that same board over and over and over and over again. That, that's the problem. It's rebirth. It's not a, a rise heart's hard, but I can get past one monster. You can only use his effect once. Yeah. So that's not hard to deal with. And, and again, I can side D shifter. All right. So probably one of the best field spells there are. This field spell has three different effects. Gives me an additional normal sum of a rescue ace monster. If my opponent controls a monster, all of my Rescue Ace monsters gain 500 attack and defense. And once per turn, I can shuffle four Rescue Ace cards that are banished or in my graveyard, shuffle them back into the deck and draw one card. This is literally how you grind with your opponent. You just keep setting the, what you set with the big guy because I only run one of each of them except for one of the spells. But all the traps only run one of each. But you literally just reset them, shuffle them back in, draw a card, set them again with them. I got into that grind match with a bunch of people, a bunch. I think only one person out grinded me, and it was a Despia player. And it was literally because he just kept resummoning Mirror Jade. Yeah. And we, we were in a battle because he couldn't get rid of my monster. And I could get rid of his, but he would just bring it back. Um, so it was pretty stupid. Um they have two different spells, but I don't like Alert right now because it just adds one from your graveyard to your hand. And to be honest, I don't really need to add anything. I'd rather just special summon it. So instead of going one of these and one of Alert, I just played two rescues. Let me make so sense. seeing this is much better because um, it lets you do some of the combos um, if you open this. Yeah, because if you open Alert, what are you really doing? Right. If Because if you don't... Now, if you had... Again, if you have Hydrant... Um, this card lets you special summon from your opponent's graveyard, which I did a bunch of times to stop people from playing. Yeah? Because people would, um, especially in Despio players, um, they would um, brand it in red, and then I would use this to steal their target. Um, and, of course, two prosperities. Um, 
I have a love relationship with all the pot cards. Like, I really do not like them because I've whiffed with this card so many times. And I'm just like, all right, I just need to see a starter. I just need to be able to get the hydrant. Six cards. Don't even see it. Because most people who are smart will not ash this, even if I banish six. If I don't have a monster on board, most people aren't going to ash it because you're bad. And I, if you don't know why, I'll show you when, when, when we get there. Um, these are all my starters for the deck, Small World. I don't necessarily like this one because it only gets the one that adds a spell. And that spell doesn't necessarily facilitate anything if I don't have Fire Hydrant in hand or a way to get to it. So this is okay, but I would probably cut that all together. I do like Small World, one for one. Rota is kind of the same as this, and I'm like, might as well just run the Rota. And then half my life points, but that gets me to a Hydrant. And then... Three of their traps, if you don't know what they do, there's an end perm, there's a regeki break without discarding, and then this is reinforced. My monster gains 1500 attack and defense, unaffected by monster effects. First time to be destroyed by a battle per turn, it's not. So essentially protects my monster almost all the way. Okay. And then my tech choice, I played one, one Dharma Cannon. And the reason I chose it is because it is a out to pearly. And it does not trigger their other cards. It's also an out to a rise heart. Um, it's uh, honestly an out to anything. Like, because if it do can't go face down, the controller has to send it to the graveyard. Or you just flip stuff face down. So at the end of the day, wasn't a bad card. Definitely came up um, when I saw it. Um, definitely got to use it. Didn't play any pearly players, so not a lot of those. Yeah, we might have... Uh... We're, I'm going to go ahead and put it out here now. I'm actually doing podcasts now. So we might have a discussion about that on a future podcast. But so, uh, um, Not really much special about the uh, extra deck except for, I'll be honest, the, the reason Gamma is so good right now, I think everybody should be playing it, is activating a Gamma during your turn turns into Baron. Gamma, you go into Excel Synchron, bring back the Gamma, go into Baron. And yes, I cracked some. I cracked a bunch of people with that. People who uh, play Prosperity, I said for six, and some people get scared when they see that, and they're like, oh no, you need that to resolve. So they throw that Ash down as Gamma. If I have Gamma in my hand, it's like, and now that you've Ash something, I know you don't have Ash to stop it, so we go on directly into a Baron. And then I was actually able to full combo um, with Baron. I had Baron, I had my big monster in the four set. The guy basically scooped instantly <laughs> after that. I was like, yeah, it comes back to me. I don't know what you're doing. Man, what are you doing? Cause <laughs> what are you doing? I Nothing. Know. Can negate, pop a card, and I'm going to have a, I can make my monster 4,500 swinging. So. And then the stupid thing most people don't realize is, yes, you do play the Gamma Package to go into the Excel to go into the Baron. But the other key thing is, um, if I'm not mistaken, Excel Synchron... Uh, can at any point that is summoned back a thing, or only when the synchro summoned? Ooh, sorry. It's only when the synchro summoned. Okay, but um, say like you have something detrimental in the graveyard during your standby phase, you can tag Al Baron and get that out of the graveyard. Though I know your deck facilitates that anyway. Oh, I mean to be honest, most of the time once I made Baron, I probably run one. Um, unless my hand was bad, which did happen one time. I was able to make Baron, but my hand was bad. I had nothing. So I literally was just sitting on a Baron hoping he would get me where I needed to get. Um, base combo is this. Um, you literally summon Rescue Hydrant. The guy who special summons himself, Rescue Hydrant, go get the big guy. Link both of those off for this. Banish both of those, summon big guy. And then you sit on this and that guy. You set the four after that, of course. And then that's, that's your typical board that you're trying to make. And on your opponent's turn, you have your Regeki Break, your Imperm, um, your Protection, and then you can tag out to this to bounce something, and then you can use the spell to bring the big guy back. Okay. So that's the, that is the typical combo. Now, the good thing about the deck is even if you can't get there, you literally just set up during your opponent's turn. Even if you have Hydrant and no other way, use Hydrant. You go get Impulse, which is their little hand trap. And then during your opponent's turn, you're like, as soon as they activate a monster effect, you're like, cool, Tribute from hand, special summon one from deck to either draw two, discard one, or that's typically what you do. And if I have the big guy in the hand at the same time too, special summon him. So when my opponent normals a special summon, I special summon another one out of the deck. 
it just it starts getting stupid. So, it starts getting stupid. So basically, then, what you're saying between is, all the other hand traps, you're like, nah, stop, negate, negate, special, yeah. So basically, what you're saying is, is when people try to set, they feel the blaze. You come out like Smokey the Bear, be like, fire bad. <laughs> Ignore my corny jokes, folks. Um, only other thing really to me that really matters was this. Um, I did recycle ash a lot. Um, I made this and then special summon the big guy under and get ash back. When I played a Despia player, I ashed. I made sure I had ash in my hand every turn. Um, because you stop it. Like if if they don't get going. Like, they can still play even after ashing them, but the main thing would be um, if they don't get, if you ash the Branded Fusion and they can't get to the new one. I can't think of her name right now. Uh, uh, Blazing Gertizia or Quim? That's it, the new one. Oh, Quim. Quim. Quim is the reason why the deck can grind stupid, and it keeps summoning back Mirror Jade. Um, if they can't get to that or if you can stop that or get that out of the way, then it's really hard for them to play. Okay. Um, and then for the side deck, to be honest, it's a pretty standard side deck. I probably sided these in a lot because I played a lot of Despia. This is for Despia, uh, mainly because I'm not trying to get, um, what is that monster? That stupid lock that they do. Oh, Gimmick Puppet. Yeah, this is the stop Gimmick Puppet. Even though I did get Gimmick Puppet and I still won. Somebody did Gimmick Puppet me because again... Um, I literally just summoned Fire Hydrant, search, searched for my hand trap, um, set a card, pass turn, and then on his turn, because, and then on his turn, I was able to stop him. I mean, I did so much, and then it came back to me, and then after it came back to me, I was able to set up. So, but that's just to stop that, and then, you know, for anything else, just depending on, also use this heavily for cash tier, because I don't like rebirth. 100%. Rebirth is stupid. Um, it gots to go. This was for Super Heavy Samurai. Um, Spell cards are weakness. I mean, that's for Cash Tier. This is also for Pearly. If people don't realize, this does shut off Noir. Um, if people don't know, you should know that this does, even if a face Noir is face up, this turns Noir off. Um, also for Noir, if I ran into it, but I didn't. And then, you know, I hate back row. You know, where people build really big boards. It's also good for that standard. Um, definitely had a good time at the tournament. Um, the deck played very well. I was still learning a few things while I was going through the tournament um, with the deck. Changes, definitely. Um, can't wait for the new stuff to come out, but the deck is still good. Um, and I'll still continue to play it. Um, some more cards I'll be adding in that the Ant Man hook me up with. I'll be running two of these little Gizmet guys, and I'll be throwing this in um, my extra deck. This might have come in handy a lot because um, a lot of times I made um, Hitta, and I probably would have preferred this just for the boost. Um, even though my monsters were pretty big, most of the time I didn't run into too many issues. My monsters. It was another big monster dropper, to be honest with you. Other than that, you know, definitely want to, you know, give some shout outs definitely to uh, Prince King, uh, Fruit Punch, <laughs> um, for showing me this thing. Everybody was telling me when I saw it, I was going to want to play it, and he was definitely right. He put it together. He showed me, and we did a lot of grinding, and I was like, that's really hard to deal with, and I really like all the interactions it had. Uh, of course, my best friend, Ant. Um, basically my, um, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, personal Yu-Gi-Oh vendor. <laughs> He's the one that kept me in this game and playing when I didn't have a card because he basically owns everything in this freaking game. Not for long, but... Got three sets, 20 sets of everything. My wife watches this, man. Don't do that to me. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just nah, but shout out to all my friends that I play, got to get to play test with. Uh, Neron, uh, Flip Nation, Daryl. Um, I would say Ricky, but he don't ever show up. Yeah, I'm calling you out, Ricky. <laughs> nah, I love all you guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate uh, y'all coming through play testing with me. Hell yeah. So, um, until next time, I'm going to top with this deck. I am going to make top eight with this deck. I promise. I promise that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get that eight. deck profile. Uh, one quick question that I'm going to add to this deck profile. And this is the final question. 
What is your opinion on the new time rules? How did you feel of that extra five minutes at the regional? Did it was it awesome. It it was great. Like I, I, so many times I would have ran into time, but we looked up, and there were like six or seven minutes left. And normally it would only been like two, and you're like, this is going into time. This is this is going to be a draw. But because we had that extra five minutes, almost never ran into that issue of running out of time. Matter of fact, I don't think. I only went into time with one person. Um, yeah, it was one cash tier player. I went into time with one person. That was it. But if I remember your record right, then that was it. Was it was decided when the time though? Right, 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 right. No, 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 no. I still got it. But yeah, we only went into time with uh, one person. But yeah, other than that, no. Most of the games, even when it came down to game three or whatnot, I will say game one a lot of times took very long. Oh, so we tested this deck at Locals, and we were in the final round that we were going to have that night, and uh, game one was 33 minutes between us. I was playing Bestial Sword Soul, yeah, and it was, and I only won because Sword Soul stupid, Chaos Angel is stupid, Despia Dispatter is stupid, and if you want to hear how stupid it is, I have a really bad podcast up right now. On Spotify, you can find me at uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Chats with the Ant Man eight one six on Spotify. Um, I just posted, and then I'm gonna be doing a little more YouTube, uh, doing a lot more Spotify and podcasts because uh, I ain't got to be dressed to do podcasts. I can do it from the comfort of my toilet. No, I'm just oh kidding. <laughs> Anyways, Panda Man, thank you, sir. Thank you for letting me get this deck profile from you. Uh, shout out to Casey Local. Shout out to uh, Papa Richard, uh, best judge ever. I hope you have a great time judging the uh, Collector Store Regional. Um, and we and out. And There's the YCS. Yes, sir. Sexiness. We are the one, the only Ammon Eight One Six. And be, uh, you know what? Something about to happen to these rescue aces. We gotta go. There's always <laughs> late. Until next time, YouTube. Deuces.